I want to bring in Chris Dodd right now, who joins us this morning from Connecticut, another close friend and colleague, of course, of Senator Kennedy's. And uh, Senator Dodd, welcome. One thing I want to ask you about is, again, something that was so poignant that came out of the funeral yesterday from his son. He said, my dad taught me how to like Republicans because he said they are just the kind of patriots. They love this country as much as I do. And they're out there fighting the same kind of fight. And yet your colleague and friend lamented in recent years that it became harder to work across the aisle, that bipartisanship was something that was fading away. What happened? Well, it's not about <clears throat> bipartisanship. I, I think that has its moments and its peaks and its valleys. It's civility in the process, I think, more than anything else. Uh, they, there's always been bipartisanship or a lack of it back and forth. It's whether or not in the United States Senate you realize where you are and what body you serve, <clears throat> which Teddy understood so deeply, as John has just so eloquently said. He understood the rhythms of the place. <clears throat> we used to tease, David, with new members. They'd say, well, are we going to vote on Fridays or not? <clears throat> And I'd say, listen, you find out what Ted Kennedy's doing on Thursday night. If he's heading to Hyannisport on Thursday night, there are going to be no votes on Friday. I don't care what the leadership tells you. <laughs> because Teddy understood exactly what was going to happen in that place better than most. And, uh, and that idea of coming back now after September 8th, we get back into session. If you want to, if you want to honor Teddy's memory, it's to come back and sort of, as I said the other night, to sort of put behind us the blistering days of August and to enter the cool days of September and start acting like senators again, where you respect each other, there are differences, you bring that partisanship to the table, but you work out your differences. That's what we had elected to do. That's what Teddy understood uh, intimately about the place. It's why he was good at it, as John has, again, so well pointed out. He was a tactician. He was a master of the place. He understood it. And he also understood his colleagues, and he was willing to listen to them, and he paid attention to them. Right. And he, they brought good ideas to the table. And if you do all of those things, then you can achieve the kind of results that Teddy achieved and that the Senate as a body has achieved historically. And when you abandon civility, then you're going to be in trouble. And Senator Dodd, you heard Maria Shriver uh, talking about reinvigorating the debate over health care. How do you think that happens now after the, the hot days of August? Well, I think the president's got to decide, in a sense, and he has, and to step up and really frame this again for us. The leadership can do it, obviously. Nancy Pelosi, Harry Reid, I think, have worked hard. I know Max Baucus is working hard with John on the Finance Committee. And we put about a bill together back in July, as you know, David, uh, Teddy's committee, which I was asked to, to chair temporarily for him. Uh, a good bill, by the way. It had, uh, we considered 300 amendments, took 161 Republican amendments as part of that effort. Most of them technical, I acknowledge, but many of them were substantive. That bill has been now sitting there. We're ready to go and work on that along with the Finance Committee and to move forward. And that's what needs to happen here. And my belief is that if we can get these bills together and sit down with each other, we can produce a strong, vibrant, vitally needed national health care reform legislation of accessibility, of course, quality and affordability. I want to get a final thought from both of you. First from you, Senator Dodd, as you sit here this morning after all the emotion of the past uh, week, what is the meaning of, of Senator Kennedy, the man and, and the legislator that you're thinking about this morning? Well, John, I think, said it very well. I think, you know, one of the things that we didn't, it's so difficult. I mean, Friday night, what John and I had eight or ten minutes, how do you capture <laughs> 30 years of friendship in, uh, in eight or 10 minutes. But his ability to overcome adversity was stunning to me. I mean, I just, what he went through, and to come back day after day, time after time. He used to say, by the way, you know, we all have our difficulties. He'd say, whatever you're worried about today, I promise you a year from today, you won't remember what it is. You'll worry about something else a year from now, but you won't worry about this. And he brought that kind of vitality to his life that I think is critical for every human being. I don't care what you're doing. Maria said it well. And that is each and every one of us uh, have to sort of get up every day and uh, confront your life as it is and make the best of it and be something larger than yourself. Make a contribution. And that's Teddy's message more than anything else, I think. Senator Dodd, thank you. Senator Kerry, um, Ted Kennedy thought about succession. He thought about who would be in the Senate after him. Do you think he would like a Kennedy to be there? <laughs> Uh, we, sure, but he's not making that decision, and uh, who knows? I mean, uh, that's not what it's about, and, and I think uh, that was not what his efforts were about. He wanted the vote protected during this critical moment, and only for that moment. It wouldn't upset the process of having an election. Massachusetts will choose as it ought to choose, but in the meantime, uh, his 
cause of a lifetime, health care and other issues of great importance, global climate change, others will not be uh, adversely impacted by the absence of a vote, and that's critical. Can I just say one thing? Right. Yesterday, driving in, uh, David, was, was so stunning with these people lining the road. And you couldn't help but think how Teddy had made that journey himself down Constitution Avenue and over to the cemetery. And, and, and he's been the face of, of, the, uh, of the moments of remembrance, if you will, for Bobby, for Jack. You remember him up there with Ethel, with, uh, with Vicky, with Joe. And now he's there. And, and I think it, it sort of hit us that, that uh, you know, it's a generational shift, but not the end of an era. Uh, it's uh, what Ted did. There was one sign I saw, the People's Senator. It was hand-scribed. Uh, it was such a genuine outpouring of, of a thank you for fighting for people. And I think if we all remember that and try our best to uh, continue to just stay focused on why we're here, uh, then uh, we'll honor him. Well said. Senator Kerry, Senator Dodd, thank you both very much.